Hello everyone, welcome all of you in Final Analyst. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this type of testimonial boxes. And we will add uh, this type of slider. So if you're interested to learning how can you build this type of carousel boxes from scratch inside system.io, then this video is for you. So let's get started. So I will come to the system.io editor page. From here, just click this section widget. Then it will add it a new sections over here. Click over here, then these sections will come on top. Now what do you need to do? First of all, click these sections and from here, from the padding, just click over here. And from the left and right side, we will add 120 pixel padding. From the left side, 120 and from the right side, make it 120. And from the top and bottom, we will add 40, 40, 40. Now what do we need to do? We need to add a widget called carousel because we are going to add multiple slider like this. So we need to add a carousel. So scroll down below and you will see a carousel widget over here. Just drag the widget over here. Now here we need to build this type of boxes. So here you see here we have three columns. So we need to drag this three column layout over here. So drag the three column layout over here. And with all of the three column layout, we need to drag a row. So that's done. Now inside this row, we need to add a uh, image then our uh, text then this heading then this image and then YouTube this text so let's drag all of the element first of all I will drag the image element over here so drag the image widget over here then we have the paragraph text so drag the text over here then we have to move this two column layout over here because here we have images the lo uh, the profile picture and here the name and the tags and from here I will make this sections little smaller so drag this one this much then what do we need to do we need to add a image over here just add this image over here and here we'll add a headline text this headline text over here and underneath we need to add the paragraph text now we need to change all of the content first of all click this image element and click over here and here we will add the icon so i will click this icon and then click insert and then i will make the size here 50 pixel and from this text click over this text and from here i will choose custom fonts in your case you can choose any of the font you want to choose but in my case i will add custom fonts and from here i will choose uh, intertight regular and i will make the size into 17 pixel and I will make the line height into 26 pixel Then it's going to be look like something this and here I will click this image and from here I will choose the profile picture So I will use this profile pictures for the demo purposes and click over here click this uh, Text headline text and I will just write down here Any of the num any of the name I will just write down here mark rubber and from here font type I will choose custom font and from here I will choose intertight semi bold and I will make the size into 20 pixel and from here I will make the alignment into left and I will click over here click this paragraph text I will press ctrl a and I will just write down here youtuber and from here I will choose the uh, font type custom fonts and from here I will choose intertight medium and I will make the size into 17 or 16 pixel let's make it 17 pixel and I will make the alignment into left now it's going to be look like this now we need to change the background color like this so how can we do that just select this row we need to select this row then from here background color I will choose this blue color and from here I will just decrease the transparency into this much little bit more then it's going to be look like this and now see it's going to be look like this but the color is different so in your case if you want to exact same color then just click over this here or just you can just copy the color code so I'll just copy the color code for make it same to same I will click this row and I will come over here background color then I will just paste the color code over here okay and I need to make the transparency into this much or little bit more yes now it's going to be look like little similar okay now we need to make the border into border radius so click over here and make the border radius into 20 pixel 
then it's going to be look like this but you can see here it have more space from the top and bottom and left and right side so how can we add the space so click over here and from the padding sections just click over here from top and bottom we will add 30 pixel and from the left and right side let's click over here let's see uh, what the exact value we use here so padding uh, 30 pixel uh, left uh, top and bottom we use 30 40 and 30 30 so left and right side we will use 30 30 click over here click this row make sure we need to select the entire row then from here top and left and right side with 30 30 and uh, from the bottom we use 40 maybe yes now click over here click this see here you can see mark rubber and underneath this text it have more space so click over here mark rubber and from here the bottom value is 15 pixel just make it 0 pixel then it will be decreased now see it's going to be look like kind of similar so what we need to do now just click this row and from here padding just make it 0 pixel we don't need any padding over here and under this carousel just click over here and padding just make it 0 pixel then it's going to be the same to same here you can see on after the logo we have a, a, a more spaced so click the logo and from here just click over here and from the bottom add 20 pixel sorry not right side from the bottom let's make it 20 pixel then it will be added 20 pixel margin from the bottom now it's going to be look like the similar but let's make it full screen and see if we uh, if we make it on full screen the content is just automatic changed on the boxes so we don't need that we want when we want to see, we will see it on full screen mode then it should look like the same so how can we do that so come over here just select the section and underneath you can see here size and positions and content width here you can see full width just from here content width full paste to just make it wide and after making it wide if we see it in full screen mode now then see this time it's uh, having the same to same so we perfectly recreate the same testimonial boxes now we just need to duplicate it and we will reuse it so just click over here and on the top you can see here this uh, duplicate icon just click over here and if you click over here then it will be added a copy over uh, under the bottom so now just drag this row inside here and now we will do the same just select the row then click this icon then it will make a duplicate of this then just drag the duplicate copy over here and we have this three <laughs> testimonial boxes now we need to change the middle boxes color so how can we do that just click over here and under this background color click over here and change to make it yellow and then make the transparency something look like this then it's going to be a look like the similar and if we see it in full screen mode and see this becomes similar to the top so yes we, we successfully recreate the testimonial now let's make some changes over here now let's say you want to add more space between this uh, two row so how can we do that just select the row and then click on margin and from the right side just add over here 20 pixel or how much gap you want so if we make it 10 pixel then it will be added 10 pixel more gap over here and we will do the same thing over here just select the row and from here margin and from the right side it will add 10 pixel and now if we see it on full screen mode then see it's have more space than this one so yes it looks much better than the top one so yes this way you can create now let's save it and let's see now click on this preview icon then it will take some seconds and it will be reloaded now let's see see we have successfully created this one now how can we uh, create this slider so let's see how can we create this slide element so creating the slider is very simple just from here select this carousel you can okay click this sections oh click here and here you can see click the element and then you can see a carousel click over here and then you can see 
here it have one slide now click over here add new slide then it will be added a new slide now we just need to drag the first slide we have created on the slide one we will just uh, copy this one but see if we click over here we don't just copy paste over here so how can we do that okay so for doing it we have a very easy way just make the carousel into a block just click over here this save icon this save button now it will add a testimonial testimonial block now click over here create then it will be saved as our uh, custom block so the block has been created now we will click over here slide 2 and then we will click over here uh, click just outside over here then click this block and here click my blocks and see testimonial blocks our block has been created now just drag the block element over here then see our block has been created so we want one more slide so just click this uh, click this boxes and from here just click on this carousel okay just come over here and then click add new slide and inside this slide we will add this uh, testimonial block over here just click on my blocks and drag the block over here now we have three slides so click save changes now click over here this preview icon and then it will show the preview now scroll down below and see we are not able to see anything there haven't any uh, haven't any slider to uh, see other slides actually here have but the background color is uh, white that's why we are not able to see if we come over here see this control color it's uh, white so let's make the color into red and also the arrow color make it red and then if we click save changes and see this time it show, shows over here so it means uh, it also had there before but the color was white that's why we aren't able to see but this time we change the color and save changes now click this preview icon and it will show the preview now scroll down below and see we have this slider click over here then we have a slide and then click over here then we have another slide so we have created total three slides one second one and the first one now for changing the slider content just click over here then just write down your testimonial content over here then this way just click the element and then just write down anything you want Jimmy and if you want to change the profile picture click the profile picture and then from here just upload your upload your uh, profile picture images and then it would be added over here uh, so changing those element is very simple you can easily change those content but now let's uh, how can you change uh, okay so we made it fully on desktop responsive but if we see it mobile devices then it's going to be look like this it's looking very odd so how can we fix it for the mobile devices because most of your audience going to be visit your website from the mobile uh, mobile devices so making it mobile mobile responsive is very important thing so let's make it mobile responsive now so for making it mobile responsive it's already mobile more responsive we just need to uh, do some little changes so first of all click this first row and from here from the margin sections click this margins and from the bottom we will add 20 pixels okay not right side okay from the bottom we will add 20 pixels a uh, space from the bottom or we can make it 30 pixels 30 pixels will be fine now we need to click this text mark rubber and from here just uh, change the alignment into center and do the same thing click the YouTube text and make it center now see now it's looking very okay if you need to change the sizes click over here and wherever you will see this mobile icon it means it will, it will only apply it on the mobile devices so that's look fine so I will come over here just select this row and from the margin sections add 30 pixel margin on the bottom then it will be added 30 pixel space between these two then click over here mark rubber and from here just make it a uh, center and click over here and just make the alignment into center so this way you can change all of the boxes so follow the same steps and change and make those changes then it will uh, show it will be looks great on the mobile devices so it's the same process that's why i'm not showing the entire processes because it will take some time because you need to follow the same process over and over again that's pretty simple 
so yes we have successfully created these testimonial boxes now you can create this type of testimonial boxes from the scratch and that's it for this particular video i hope you guys learned something new and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section below and you can join our facebook group there we share lots of free resources so keep join the facebook group i will link, put the link in the description below and thank you for watching and keep watching our videos